Uh, this is your boy, Chase Chrisman, also known as Smoke DZ, coming at you with a Evil Swarm a deck profile. Uh, as BB would say, uh, what, table 500? DZ, yep. Now let's get into it. Obviously, do I need to say anything? Explain, explain your choices. Like. Yeah, these are just the staples. If, if you don't know why you're running three of them, like, I don't know what to tell you. Three Kirkyons, three Castors, obviously. Three Vanillas for your rabbits. Actually, they are at three now. Now, this is where I can actually talk about choices, because that was, that was all the stupid shit. Uh, you can run one, one Mandragora, you can run two, uh, you can run Thunderbirds over Mandragora uh, if you want to. I find that these are uh, better for going second than Thunderbirds. That's just going to sit in your hand and not do, not do shit. Sometimes you absolutely uh, need a special summon. So I just go balls out and try to get a final out. On honestly, I, maybe Thunderbirds are better, but like this deck is uh, not tier anything. So I just say just go balls out at all times. So that's why I made that choice. And I won one Kitos. You would not know the situations. Chris has seen it, where I just absolutely need to pop something, a spell or trap. Usually you have monsters, like your deck can deal with monsters, but sometimes you like have this dumb back row that's just sitting there that's like absolutely just dicking you hard, and you just absolutely need to get rid of it. You can search this thing with your trap, or you can obviously just draw it, um, and then just pop it. Now do I need to mention that the other two secrets are in the mail? Because I don't have one secret. Oh, secret should be on top. What am I doing? Well, just just ignore the supers. They're all gonna be secret soon. Uh, I'm running three rabbits. You can run. Uh, you can run two. You can even run one if you want to. If like you want to make room for this deck for for more traps, more hand traps, whatever. Super spicy tech I stole from someone else's deck profile. <laughs> the rest of his deck, his evil swarm deck, was like actual shit. But like. <laughs> Like, his other choices, like, he was running uh, Lure of Darknesses and shit, which I, I keep trying it. I've tried it, like, ten times, and it like, they just... Plus, yeah. It just doesn't plus. It just, doesn't get you anything. It's you just, would like, think that, like, it would be perfect in this deck, and then, like, you just... You, like, absolutely need that monster in your hand, you just have to banish it, because you don't want to dump you your whole hand. You have one Yeah. Lure of Darkness, you draw into another one, but you have to banish it, uh, so you're like, well, I'm still stuck with one. Yeah, I, I, okay, so maybe if you're going to run Lure of Darknesses, like, you could run more, uh, like, actual Evil Swarm monsters in here, or just more more dark monsters, or... Then you won't win. Yeah, like, what was another version I saw? It was, like, a bunch of uh, random dark stuff. I think you were there. It was, like, all yeah. kinds of weird dark stuff. And, like, at that point, like, was that an Evil Swarm deck or just a general dark deck? Like, I, I didn't even know at that point. But I did like Eater of Millions. Um, it gives you outs to, like, uh, things that Ophion uh, can't stop. Um, obviously, it just banishes. You can always find five things in your extra deck. To just, you're not going to use that duel. Now, are you going to get two out? Probably not. So, hopefully, you don't draw them both. You can run one, you can run none. This is actually completely optional if you're going to eager millions. Uh, I'm running two infestation pandemics. Uh, you can run one if you really want to. I don't recommend three uh, ever. I mean, I've had three in the deck before, but um, it's uh, it's actually a dead draw if you like open it because you can search for it. So like, you don't want to see it in your opening hand. three unexpected dice uh you can run one two or three um or you can run none if you really wanted to um i, I think at least two is is almost mandatory i guess in this deck um two or three i've ran two for like a really long time i just recently put it back to three uh just because i was tired of not opening opion um so in my opinion yeah two or three The actual plus card, better in Lure of Darkness. What does Pot of Greed do? What does Pot okay. of Greed do? That is right. You want triple Pot of Desires. Obviously, there is a lot cheaper rarity than this. If you're uh, this this deck, you might run a hundred bucks if you just don't get all the ball of rarities of everything. Everything in here has been reprinted as as some dumb rarity at some point that costs like fucking nothing. Um, oh, do you have to bleep that out? No. Oh, okay. You say whatever the fuck. Oh, you okay. Want Sweet. Um, but I think this is mandatory. Um, if your deck can run Pod Desire, you should probably should just do it. Um, there's nothing in the main deck that's like you're super sad about seeing Go banish it. It'll basically be out for the whole duel. But like Evil Swarm deck, you either pretty win fast or lose fast, so you're not gonna see over half your deck anyway most of the time. So might as well use it as a resource. Just you know, banish it and plus one. Hey Chase, what's your opinion on uh, three versus two? What Pod Desires? Yeah. 
I, I, I guess uh, it could depend on the deck. Um, if you're not having as huge consistency problems, you could run two. Um, your, your deck has, like, everything is a combo piece. None of it actually matters. Yeah, like, you're running three of all the important stuff. The chance of you banishing all three of them is extremely low. Um, this deck has consistency problems, so I'd say three Pot of Desires. Um, but, yeah. I mean, if your deck's more consistent than this, which basically every deck is, because this deck's kind of shit, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd say run three pod desires. It's a fun deck, though. I'm, I'm talking all kinds of mad shit on this deck. I fucking love this deck. It's fun as shit. Well, anyone who asks, you've been playing this deck for how long? Uh, since it came out. Which was what? Like a long ass time ago. 2013. Yeah, some something like that. Yeah. Um, after Gateway got banned, I was like, well, I guess I need a new deck, and then yeah. it's like, here it is. Uh, one dark, one dark hole. These are just the one ups. One dark hole, one Regeki. This is this is all just opinion. Why do you want to run them or not? Though? Because Regeki. There you go. Yeah. Um, one monster reborn. Uh, that's this is all just if you want to run it. This is all stuff you can take out if you absolutely need to make room. Uh, mandatory Roto, obviously. Your caster is a, a warrior. Go get him. He's like really important. You want to point it to the kids what rarity that is? Uh, it's a um, is is this a hobby league? Yeah, it's yeah, a. They don't know what that is. It's a, it's a hobby league. Is. What is? Explain. Do them. they not make hobby leagues anymore? Yeah, explain to them what hobby league is. Um. It was uh, a special pack for participating in tournaments, right? Back in the day. Back in the day? Well, they used to do tournament packs a long time ago. Yeah, they don't do... They don't and they replaced with Hobby League, and then now it's just, what, nothing? Yeah. Oh, they just don't do anything anymore. Exactly. Uh, onto the traps. Um, I play one Infection, Infestation Infection. Um, you could run two. I've ran two before. Every time I do, though, like, I end up drawing it. This is another card you can search for with Ophion, so, like, uh, you can you can run to, but you're going to you're gonna draw it in the opening hand, and, like, you're really trying to make an Ophion, and you're not trying to draw all these cards you can search for, so I recommend one. If you banish it with Pot of Desires, then whatever. It's it's a good card, but it's not it's not necessary. Um, most of the time I'm using, when I'm using the card, I'm already, like, uh, dicking my opponent anyway, so if they're actually letting me search with it. You go get your, uh, put one, you, you, you put one back, you, you grab one, um, you get Kirk Yons and Castors out of your deck. By then, you're going to overwhelm your opponent within a turn or two if they're, like, can't kill you. So, I would say one. What do I just call this? The, the Solemn Package? <laughs> just, like, the whole... Uh, so, the entire trap lineup is uh, completely your opinion. I just run the best traps uh, that I can. That I can. Uh, you could actually gut the entire trap lineup and run hand traps instead. Um, I'm basically not because they're expensive right now. Once I get reprinted, uh, this might all just change the hand trap. So, I was going to play in a tournament anyway. So, you just have a bunch of old man says now? Yeah. Right now, anyway. I mean, it, you could uh, You run forehead. You could run uh, what are the other hand traps that people run. Uh, we don't care. Whatever. They play all those. Is that, is that not, not part of the casual Yu Gi Oh channel? Um, BB, when, when he flips over Solemn Judgment, he just says, Old Man says no. Old Man says no. <laughs> so, obviously, for your judgment, I'd recommend the Ghost Rare. Uh, for your warning, you want the uh, Ultimate Rare First Edition, obviously. And then for your strikes, uh, you want uh, Seeker Rare First Editions, obviously. Um, if you're going to run them. Uh, if not, then you run Hand Traps and. Uh, we don't like you, I guess. Is that the is that what we tell people? Well, I mean, you know, do what you want, but when you fill, well, once four when you fill a deck with like fifteen cards that are just hand traps, I mean like are you better? Does that make you great? I mean, good on you, but like you're not playing a deck anymore. Well once you're playing hand, an engine with once forehead gets reprinted though, it's like Max C when it got reprinted, like everyone's gonna run it because it's just like objectively you, the best the best trap in the game. When you're playing that many hand traps, like Yeah, good job. <laughs> I uh, found out Compulse Set 3, so I'm going to add Triple Compulse. Uh, these will be Dual Terminals soon. They're just, uh, just putting in some comments for now until the Dual Terminals get here. But, uh, oh yeah, if you're going to run this deck, uh, if you're not doing, if, if you're, like, shopping for any of these cards and you, like, don't get Dual Terminal, like, I won't respect you. I don't care that you're a fellow Evil Swarm player. Ooh. Hey, man, Evil Swarm's right. Hey, man, Evil Swarm. Bro, and I'll be like, Chase looks at your deck. These are fucking Yeah, these, uh, this Hidden Arsenal, this is fucking gross. <laughs> Wait, where's the, where's the mic at? Right there. Fucking gross. <laughs> Get yourself some fucking dual terminals. Everything in your deck that can be. And uh, two terminals right now. Uh, this. Uh, these are hobby league. Yeah, that's I have to check the dual terminal terminals. I don't think so. This is why I have these. I think because I didn't see that they they made dual terminal terminals ever. 
Um, but yeah, that's that's the main deck. Uh, like I said, the, tra the whole entire trap lineup can be whatever you want. It can be hand traps, it can be whatever traps you want. There's a lot of good traps in the game, so like basically whatever you want. Um, the only thing that's mandatory, I, I think I called out the cards that are mandatory, the, the, the core of the Evil Swarms. Triple Caster, Triple Kirk, yeah. Yeah, Triple Vanilla Guy, and... Yeah, the other you need to run a couple other evil swarms like to just have a good monster count. Uh, that's that's something you'll you'll be if you ever run this deck you'll be experimenting with that too. Is like uh, how many monsters you want to run as compared to spell and traps. Because uh, what you want to do is you want to open up a fion with uh, good traps either face down or in your hand if you're running hand traps. You don't want to open just monsters and you don't want to open just spell and traps, which inherently means your deck's gonna have consistency problems because some games you're just gonna get dicked and lose because you draw all traps, you draw all monsters. On to the extra deck. Uh, I'm running three Evil Swarm of Clowns right now. Um, you can run uh, you can run two. In fact, you could probably even get by with one if you really wanted to, if you're going on like space. I'd recommend two, though. Yeah. I've never seen someone run one. That's ballsy. Like that. If, if you're going against, against a deck that gets dicked by Ophion and you lose that one Ophion, like, and you're like, man, I really wish I had another one. But yeah, you definitely take this down to two like really super easy way. I very rarely go into third one. Uh, this entire extra deck right now actually is, um, uh, well, it's always under construction. Like, can you find a level four? So, like, depends on the meta, depends on, like, what your local scene is. Like, what's going to what's gonna uh, clap people's cheeks better, <laughs> basically. Like, you, you, you know, you, you got to, you, you have to be a little bit open with this extra deck. Um, uh, do you mention in the in the comments this is Master Rule 3 or your whole channel is Master Rule 3? Uh, it's, you know, we'll say, like, basically, like, if it's Master Rule 3, we're going to say it, so. If you're yeah, but, but before 3. people were wondering where, like, all my links are at, because this would have, like, um, if you look up a more recent, like, a, a link format approved Evil Swarm deck, there's, like, four or five link monsters that you can run. Uh, but the deck is, I don't recommend running uh, this deck in Master Rule 4, because it's, like, actual just trash. Um, because uh, the only thing you can do on the first turn um, I can show you the guy. Well, links don't have levels, so OPM doesn't stop shit. Yeah, um, so you can make, um, this guy, um, on your first turn instead of making Ophion, but then what? Uh, you can set, uh, cause he special summons evil, uh, evil swim monsters out of the deck whenever, uh, monsters on the field are destroyed. So, you can run bottomless trap holes, and you can run torrentals, and then you can get, uh, there's some Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro replays where people will, like, get this dude out. Um, and then special summon like four monsters because they turn all the whole board. But like, I'm like, objectively, is that better though than just summoning all fine? They can't do anything in the first place. <laughs> so, I, 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 I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you're just you're just banking on this guy going off, and that's that's it. And like, what if like they they literally summon anything to try to attack over it, and you just have to like waste all your traps on like dumb stuff and. Uh, I think any other any other meta deck's gonna overwhelm you, so I just I wouldn't even wreck. Like, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna play Master Rule Four, like it, literally any other deck's gonna overwhelm you like instantly. Yeah, you might get that one combo off and win one game here and there, like a cheese win. But like, besides that, you're just gonna get steamrolled every single time. So just play Master Rule Three. That can give your deck a chance to like actually do something. Coolest monster in the extra. Deck. Coolest monster. Yeah, I would say. Uh, Anyone who's ever played Evil Swarms has said this should have been Ophion, like the artwork. This should have been Ophion, and then Bahamut should have been been the other guy. Because uh, I'd rather see this on the field all the time, because that, that just looks awesome. That, that He looks like he's like going to wreck your shit. Or Ophion's just kind of like, eh. He might bite your ankles or something, but this guy looks like he's like going to actually murder your whole family. From a person who's going up against Evil Swarms a lot, dueling him, uh, the main problem going up against Evil Swarms is that if I let him go first, he makes Ophion and I can't play. If I go first and I make a monster that I'm like, he can't get over this, he makes Bahama and takes it. Yeah, I, I guess um, for anyone who doesn't play this deck, Bahama steals a monster, basically, uh, a face-up monster, um, by pitching one Evil Swarm. Uh, it's not costs to pitch the Evil Swarm, so you activate, you detach, activate the effect, target their monster, say, is that okay? If they say yes, then you pitch the monster. If they say no and negate it, you don't have to pitch the monster from your hand. So... If you run the card, remember that, because um, don't be stupid and just burn a monster out of your hand for no reason. Uh, so it's going to take three monsters out of your hand to do this, and you have to tell yourself, is it worth it to burn three cards out of my hand to seal their monster? Sometimes it is uh, if their deck makes big boss monsters. Um, if their deck doesn't make big boss monsters, typically, then I wouldn't say Bahamut's worth it. Try to do something else that's, that's going to actually stop their plays. Um, I'd always recommend one, because there's just random times where he's really good, but always one. 
you run more than one, you're just wasting uh, slots in your extra deck that are extremely um, important. One nightmare. Uh, he could he could come out easily. Depends on the meta. Depends on what's going on. Uh, I don't even know what the meta is right now. Goki's Trick Stars and uh, uh, Sky Striker's a little bit in there. I don't even know what the fuck any of those things do. I play Master Rule three, so I oh, just links. Yeah, so he's uh, pretty useless. Um, because change that for some monster to face down. Yeah, they can't be face down. So, oh, oh. no, you that. could book the monsters they summon for link materials because the link materials. Do they have to be face up to be yeah. sent off? Ooh, the place, yeah. that could be spicy. Uh, just a utopia package. Uh, I think you have enough room for it in this deck. You're running level fours. Like, just get. Sometimes you seem to bulldoze over something. Sometimes you don't have the three monsters for uh, Bahamut to steal it, so you can just two monsters can just run it over with five thousand attack. So. Obvious. I, I'd run. I'd run the entire package too. Um, you're gonna. You're, you'll have room for it. You should, uh, unless you're running a whole bunch of tech, techy weird stuff in your extra deck that you, for some reason you're starving yourself for room. Uh, one Castell. Um, I recommend the Ulti Rare Castell. Uh, <laughs> it just looks way better. And I. Any time. Look, look. You laugh at me, but anytime you're playing a shit deck, I think you should just swag on people. Like, right? Am I not? Am I wrong? You're not wrong. Oh, you should like yeah the deck's shit but god damn it they're jealous of your cards like can't wait till we get to Brennan's lights one deck can't wait uh one cowboy also should be if you're gonna run cowboy um you don't have to of course uh, it's just a game a game ender uh every once in a while uh this could definitely come out uh, but if you are gonna run it not with the new uh, the new time rules whoever has the most life points wants you oh to... yeah that's right didn't this yeah. card go up yeah you, ha you got oh. it cowboy. oh so you have to have ulti if you're gonna run cowboy now uh, well, if you're gonna win, like by being gay about it, like you better swag on them at the same time. You know what I mean? Chase, would you actually do that? Would you like waste your entire like time that you have for your turn, and then finally be like, okay, cowboy? Oh yeah. <laughs> if, if it equals me winning, like yeah, yeah I'm gonna do it. Like, I don't blame anyone. Is like I uh, hate 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 the hate the game, not the player. Like yeah. the, the game's rules shouldn't be that stupid. And from what I've uh, read from reports from people going to tournaments, it's not even making the tournaments any shorter. They're still 12 hours long. It still doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. Now you just have even saltier people leaving. Yeah, like everyone's just angrier now. Uh, one Babuska. Um, not mandatory. Um, you can run, uh, if you're going to run traps, you can run uh, Rafflesia, a bunch of the little girls. Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, this is, uh, if you're not running a bunch of traps that are whole cards. Uh, you know, has anyone ever mentioned that? What? That the, tr so trap tricks are a bunch of little girls that say traps, I know, <laughs> and they deal with whole trap cards. Yep. And, no one's ever, has anyone they ever a mentioned lot of that? collectors that are going after them. Weird. Huh. <laughs> okay. I wonder if anyone's ever just uh, said, like, hey, that's kind of kind of like Dude, a huge that's pun. how you get pedophiles. If you're like, you look Dude. at it, like, someone gives you a trick. Yeah, and it's like, just full of, like, trap tricks. We got them. Like, you just call yeah. the cops immediately, like, we got one. <laughs> 28 Dragon for the back row. Uh, I, is would you say tornado dragon is like mandatory? Like you're not going to use it that often, but when you need it, like oh yeah, tornado dragon. Yeah, yeah, you kind of yeah, you kind of roll tide, roll tide, brother. Uh, you kind of you kind of need it when when you need it, you need it. So your, your hand motion with it, you're like roll tide, brother. <laughs> roll tide, brother. So that actually might be a, a mandatory. So like, the, uh, how many mandatory cards are in here? One. Dude, you know what we should totally do. Can we take a picture of Chase Four, doing the team's X Samurai like his six, spatial seven, special? Only eight so far, like mandatory. If we could do that and be like the best evil swarm deck profile ever. I say we do it. When a best dweller, um, subject to change, depends on the meta, depends on all kinds of shit. Like half your extra deck is actually just your side deck, if you think about it. It's just like what is the meta, what rank fours are gonna gonna work right now. So that's just what I have in there right now. It's probably not the best decision. Uh, this is just in there for for whatever right now. Uh, you, this can literally be anything else. Uh, every once in a while, I just need to. I just I play with my friends, so um, if I went to an actual tournament, I, I don't think I'd have a Heartland Draco in there. Um, but every once in a while, they they put up the defense wall, and you just fucking attack them for game. Or if they're running a super defensive deck, like you could just hit them twice for four thousand, like uh, around all their defenders. 
rarely ever happens. Most most decks are pretty offensive, so like you don't run into that situation like hardly ever. So you could. I, maybe the new time rules. Yeah, maybe. Just yeah, they're just directly, yeah. yeah. Just attack them directly for two thousand. I play them in harpies. Yeah, when like so yeah, you have the last phase and like they have a bunch of monsters that are huge and you can just well, attack also, over it for two thousand. I play some spell cards that sit on the field, so it's not bad because what's yeah. the effect? Like if you have a spell card, they can't attack. Maybe, maybe with the new time rules like this, actually these cards I say are kind of shit are actually kind of good now, like yeah. uh, Cowboy and Heartland Drinko. So uh, whatever rarity uh, this is is what I recommend. Um, some random gold secret thing and that's it uh side deck of course i'm not i'm not gonna go over that depends on the meta depends on your own choices yeah, uh we, we only do side decks on the channel if like one of us actually like topped or whatever oh okay like okay or if you went to a regional right or somewhere then people want to know what you yeah. cited yeah but i this is just a normal like yeah. a, a random deck profile so you, of course the side we went over the cards that you could uh, are, are questionable you can do whatever you want those are the cards you would side out for so Chase, final thoughts like Evil Swarm says it like, <laughs> do you want more support from Konami? Like maybe more main deck monsters, something like that. Maybe give you another X Y Z that could do something else. Oh, of course, yeah. Like, I'd, I'd love some more Evil Swarm support, but uh, it's a dual terminal archetype, and like dual terminal doesn't exist anymore. So I, I doubt it. Yeah. I very much doubt it. Um, but once again, get dual terminal. Uh, I if this channel blows up in the future, like five years from now, and this video gets a bunch of views. I will not respect you, nor will I like you <laughs> as a person if your deck is not dual terminal. Like, at least your core. Like, the rest of it, whatever. But your core monsters should all be dual terminal. Like, Hidden Arsenal is shit. Your deck looks like shit. And dude. the cards are like 10 cents a piece. Like, it costs like a dollar for the dual terminal version. Just get it. And that's it. That's all I have to say. I'm out. Roll Tide. <laughs>